Hey everyone, welcome back to Chicken Cindy's, and this is going to be the coop. <laughs> we just moved into our new house. We still got some boxes and things around, but this is going to be basically where you see me doing a lot of my videos now. It sounds a little echoey right now because the walls are pretty bare. Ideally, as we kind of get things put into place and stuff like that, that'll go away a little bit. We'll kind of play that by ear. But today what we're going to work on is getting it cleaned up and getting it ready to be my chicken coop. I'm super excited for this, so let's get into it and see what happens. Got the floor swept, got my tiles down. I'm probably gonna buy two more boxes of these. I really wasn't quite sure how many I wanted to do originally because I know I wanted enough to cover where I was gonna be working on bikes, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and just fill out the rest of the room. I might as well. So I'll probably, I might need three or four boxes total. I'll do the math later, but I'm pretty excited. Didn't take too long to get this far, but now I'm going to shop back Pretty well all the cabinets and everything and then ideally i'll be able to get those other foam blocks in or i guess the other foam pieces of the floor in pretty quick so we'll do that and then we'll start putting tools up and away and get them out of our toolbox so they're readily accessible so let's do that now Phase one of the chicken coop is officially done. Uh, it took a little over a week to get everything in between the, the rest of the foam squares because I ended up getting two more boxes and I could probably do a few more but I'd have to cut the edges of them so I might just leave this the way it is currently. But I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I maybe change some of this around so the more I get used to it and the more I realize what I'm using and not using but it's so very cool to have all of my tools out. I love that. I think that's going to be super awesome for when I'm working on bikes. And I'm very just excited to have this place. I uh, am definitely going to be doing some things with sound and whatnot between potentially foam and things like that to help because I know it's very echoing here. Maybe I'll get like a different mic to be able to just wear and then kind of edit the sound in over it. But any tips, any anything that you see that I've done that you should that I should maybe have done different. You know, this is the first time I've ever done something like this and I'm very fortunate to have a setup like this. And I still have cabinets and drawers that are entirely empty. So I'll be able to grow into this place, which is really cool. But man, I was so excited to get this place done. And it's it's pretty well done right now to the sense of like, until I start using things and, and seeing where everything's at, I'm, gosh, I'm so stoked with this. But please, any comments, anything, anything that, like I said, that you maybe would have done differently, let me know. But uh, I had someone reach out to me over doing some like some sweet LEDs and stuff like that. But I think this is going to be a great start, and I can start concentrating more on doing the videos again in that aspect. Because when I did the upgrades for this, I wasn't exactly done at all with this place, but I just wanted to get the upgrades on this bike, so on the Dolomite that is. But no, I, uh, I'm so, I'm so stoked. I'm just glad to have this. So thank you so much for watching, and as usual, until next time, I'm sure I will catch you all later.